happening. Ah, we're recording. So welcome to the zoo. Where we're going to talk about how IT and the service desk, the IT operation and the services don't get along very well and how they always fight over things. They like brothers and cats and dogs and whatever. Um, and here to help me understand how the synergies and the friction exist and how BMC can help with this is Aaron Avery, all the way from what sounds like the airport at Dallas. Uh oh, just Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the sound effects. That's all right. Um, welcome to the new zoo. We are using a new platform here at Blab. Uh, I've seen it before. I love it. Just watching it. So now I want to use it. And um, apologize for any problems we will have in, in our technology. But let's get going. Why don't you start telling me a little bit about the major issues that exist between the service desk guys and the IT operation guys. There's been a, like a monumental fight between the two of them and they live right next door. So what's I think the you like, Yeah, I think you like to tell a dramatic story, Alf. I think that the reality is that even though the service desk or service and support organization and the um, IT operations or NOC organization typically report in the, you know, maybe if you're in one of those organizations, you actually are maybe in the same organization that reports up the same VP or CIO or, or whatever. But I think fundamentally that the service desk and IT ops have two really different purposes in life. And so I think that uh, when, you, when you think about what these, these different folks wake up and think about every day, I mean, ultimately, yeah, sure, we're using technology, we want to run the business better, yada, 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 yada. But the service desk is really that customer facing, first line of contact, where IT ops is really focused on you know, keeping services running, monitoring what, you know, what matters. And the, the reality is that the service desk, it's, it's about the customer and the business. And for IT ops, it's about the technology and the events. And IT ops is trying to put monitors on the things that matter and look at the right things, and they want to prioritize what they're monitoring. And for the service support organizations, it's really about when something happens, getting the right people involved uh, and working on the right you know, incident and restoring the service as quickly as possible. So I think that these two organizations fundamentally wake up with a different purpose every day and in their respective purpose you know, supports the, the greater business goal. So that can put us at friction when the kind of collective focus when you're focused on two different things that are actually supporting the same goal. Well, and, and, and that makes sense. And that exists in all types of businesses. Uh, if you don't have aligned goals, got to start selling a white paper now. If you don't have aligned goals, then you will have frictions. But what if, well, if you look at it from a more positive, then what synergies exist between the services and operations? They, at the end of the day, they're running IT. There should be some right. kind of alignment there, right? Sure. Well, I think not to harp on the negative, because this isn't really a negative, it's just a reality that I think puts us in this situation. I think that you can have, you know, sometimes you hear the analyst talking about different levels of maturity and people are like, oh, how do I define my maturity? But if you really think about it, the service desk, I kind of think about it in like kind of three levels or three kind of phases of where a service desk might be. And each one of those phases has a, you know, a reality, what that means, what you live in, a cost, and, and a goal, because let's face it, we're all working towards something grander, right? And so we see service organizations that sometimes are in reactive mode, and it's just about like, hey, catching the incidents as they come in. Usually we have our customers or our you know, employees or end users are our monitoring system. So they're the ones that give us alerts. And then maybe you're a service organization that's actually proactive, but you're still kind of tactical um, and you're still transactional. So you know that something goes down and you work on fixing it, or maybe your service organization that's in that kind of stabilize and automate. So it may perhaps you um, you know identify with one of those three levels of, of maturity, for lack of a better word. But the reality is that IT ops organizations can also have different levels of maturity. Perhaps you know a an IT ops organization or a NOC organization is really focused on they're just focused on the event. They want to get the event, manage it, triage it fixed based on the event, not really in conjunction with an incident. And that's where you see some of that natural rub. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you see maybe some other IT ops organizations that actually have you know, gotten to a phase where they have multiple monitors, they know what they're monitoring, but that's creating overlapping events for their brethren or friends on the service desk, or maybe not friends. And then finally, maybe you could have a really mature IT ops organization that's really focused on impact models and you know, they lack 
some level of you know visibility into the um, the event, the the impact of the event on the business service. So the reality is that you can have these two organizations that could be at totally different misaligned levels of maturity. Maybe you're both in the middle, but the opportunity is to figure out how to connect the event data from the um, from the IT ops organization with the service desk and their perspective on the incident. And when you tie the event and the incident together, that that's really that first step in yeah. kumbaya, if you will, environment. <laughs> well, okay. the same thing exists between software developer and network operations guys. Uh, the, the, the software developer build this clunky thing and then they're upset it doesn't go well. They scream at the network guys. The network guys are well, hey, how about you build something that is SaaS you know, friendly and so on. So there's, but both of them is going to get in trouble until they come together and work together uh, to, to, to get the whole DevOps operation uh, from from finish to end. Uh, what have you seen from more customers? What yeah. do what do they do about it? Well, the reality is that when you integrate, so so there's really two things because you're talking about people and technology and let's just face it both of those can go off the rails really easily right i mean you and i all the time off when we talk about how quickly do our conversations go off the rails <laughs> uh <laughs> but there's an opportunity you have to align processes but let's you know set that aside because that's uh that's going to vary by organization but there's a huge opportunity to integrate the performance monitoring and service management technologies to integrate the event management and service desk to really bridge that. It's a communication and collaboration gap that I think fundamentally exists. And when you integrate those solutions, you know, at BMC, we have technologies that address both of those, but you can do this, you know, on, on some degree, um, some level with, you know, some of our competitors as well, or other peers in the market. We like to um, think that we have a pretty, pretty mature and, um, differentiated approach to this because we can take it to a pretty advanced level. Uh, but fundamentally, if you get those two systems talking to each other and you address the kind of human processes that go along with them, there's a huge opportunity to improve the speed with which you are resolving events, to improve the event volume that you can actually handle. We have one customer that actually increased the number of, it's the service desk actually, they increased the number of service desk um, incidents that they were handling by almost 400% because they were getting visibility. Basically what they were doing is documenting the work that they were already doing that was just disappearing into the ether. I'm sure, uh, you know, somebody listening to the show today, you know, gets to the end of the day or the end of the weekend. It's like, wow, I was so busy, but how do I, how do I show that? Because it was outside of our, our boundaries um, or our processes our documented processes. So I think there's a huge opportunity to, Resolve things faster. So meantime, you know, those traditional of mean time for resolution, because you're finding it quicker, you're getting eyes on the things that matter quicker. You can get better at notifying the business or impacted stakeholders that, hey, something's going on. I mean, none of this is brain surgery per se, but the technologies that we use focus on the, the problems that we solve. And when you integrate the two technologies, service management and uh, performance monitoring, there's a huge opportunity to have one plus one really equals three. I like that. Uh, you get props for that. Hold on. Um, where are you going <laughs> to um, You used to work with us in the ITSM group or the DSM group, as you call now. And then you just bailed and went did. much quicker. But you still invited me back. So that means everybody else told you no. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're with a much cooler, uh, I call it monitoring area i don't care what you guys call it uh performance monitoring and and, and, and network monitoring and and, and 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 you've seen both sides now mm -hmm. what does bmc have to offer if there's some lonely soul on this webcast who says you know what can i buy to actually bring these two together because this is not new right this friction has existed for a long time are there tools in place to actually help uh, customers overcome it yeah absolutely so at bmc we offer a kind of productized integration is what I like to call it. And that is the integration between Remedy or Remedy Force and TrueSight Event Manager. And the cool thing about this integration is that if you own those solutions, I mean, they just work together. Mm -hmm. They, um, you don't have to buy something else to make this integration um, happen. And um, depending on what other technologies that you have, perhaps you have the CMDB, depending on how mature those service models are, or if you even have service models, um, 
this all you get this with um, with what you've already purchased. So it's a matter of getting the right people in the room, connecting the technologies, and uh, really talking through those processes. Um, so there's really three three kind of levels. I talked about the three levels of maturity that we see service desk organizations and and IT ops organizations living in. There's really three levels of of maturity that um, BMC can help organizations with. So we can help you on that, that, that journey, if you will. Um, the first one is that we can help you really minimize the manual creation of incidents. So incidents, um, incident tickets basically are triggered in your, in your service desk solution remedy or remedy force uh, when events are detected by the performance management suite, true site. Um, the, the second one is what we call infrastructure uh, level incidents. And that's really identifying the root cause um, and optimizing the ticket routing. So basically saying, hey, here's the problem. And you know what? Person B in this location uh, needs to be working on that. So getting the right person on it immediately. And then finally, uh, the kind of third level of Zen or bliss is really understanding and communicating the business impact um, of an event or an outage, and we would call this an application or service incident. And, um, you know, if you've defined a service or an application model in your CMDB, mm -hmm. incident tickets can basically be triggered whenever the performance of um, that particular service, that business service or that application is actually going to be impacted. Mm -hmm. So again, if you have purchased the technologies, you can, you can do this. Um, it doesn't require a services offering, actually. We've worked really hard to make this a, a connection that's you know, something that you can do on your own. We do have services offerings because, like I said, it's not just about the technology. It's about the people as well. But we really see three levels integrating um, you know, at, the, uh, you know, at the event incident, at the infrastructure, and then at the application or um, a business service. Interesting, interesting. You can, can't you, or at least you have on the roadmap that you can even track sentiment on social media and so on using the same type of technology. <laughs> sure, Alf, that's a separate product. <laughs> See, I'm told you. Now, I just find the idea of monitoring is something that's been lacking. But network mm -hmm. where I come from always had it. That was the thing. It was the, you have your finger on the pulse the whole time, and yeah. you never took your finger off. And then when you enter into more of the ITOM world, there's less of that importance there. Um, so just seeing how monitoring and performance tracking in general are becoming more important because we no longer, we all live in a SaaS world. Yeah. With networking down, everything is gone, right? There's no more on-premise. So it's just a fascinating topic. So hopefully we can talk more about that at other Zoom. So thank you very much, Sherry. Oh, before you go, I need to find it. So you moved to Dallas and you, you're you not going to be a Dallas Cowboy fan, I understand. Um, how's it? <laughs> how is it? What's Dallas like? You used to live in Houston, now you're in Dallas. Is there a it's big less difference? humid. Oh, less humid? Okay. Yeah, less humid. Okay. What is it? That's all we've got going for us is less humid. God bless the Cowboys. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you so much, Erin. I appreciate you coming to the zoo. Bye, everyone. Right. For the rest of you out there, take care.